Since White Diamond's Pearl was revealed to be Pink Diamond's original Pearl back in the episode Together Alone, the mystery surrounding her character had grown tenfold. Why did White Diamond take that Pearl from Pink? How did she lose her left eye even though her gemstone is completely intact, etc. After a long wait, the Steven Universe Future episode of Volleyball made the whole picture a whole lot clearer for us. The episode begins with Steven in his house acting as a doctor of sorts to gems who cracked their gemstones either during playful activities or doing their new jobs in Beach City. For instance, healing one of Mayor Nanafwa's ruby bodyguards as well as multiple quartz gems who injured themselves while playing volleyball. Shortly after, Volleyball the character pulls up to Steven's house asking if he can fix her eye. After failed attempts of using his healing powers on both her gemstone and eye itself, Steven asks her if she remembers anything while she was under White's control so he can figure out how her eye got messed up in the first place. Volleyball clears everything up by saying Pink Diamond was the one who caused the eye damage. Steven gets wigged out by this and briefly turns pink, which has been a reoccurring instance in all of the future episodes so far. This has happened at least once per episode. Anytime Steven gets really worked up or stressed, he'll turn pink and his powers get all amplified. I may go more in depth about that in another video though, so for now I'm just gonna leave that to the side. <laughs> When I first heard this, I was a little bit shocked, but then I was also not really surprised. Pink Diamond is without a doubt one of the most complex characters in all of Steven Universe due to how hard it is to read what kind of a person she is. It definitely seems like once she got to Earth, met Greg, etc., she began to act like a little less of a scumbag. <laughs> but this whole thing with volleyball occurred prior to her getting Earth and more than likely before she left Spinel to wait in the garden, so it doesn't really surprise me that she did this, even if it was supposedly unintentional. Steven then enlists the help of Pearl to see if she knows anything that could fix Volleyball's eye. Pearl suggests going to a place called The Reef, which is where Pearls would go to get fixes slash upgrades anytime they got damaged. Pearls could also be made from scratch at The Reef as well. Off topic, but I like how The Reef is shaped like a giant clam shell. Very fitting since in real life, Pearls can be found inside clams on rare occasions. <laughs> Once Volleyball reaches the care center at The Reef, Shell tells her that there is nothing that could be done to fix her eye because the injury Pink gave her was so impactful that it continues used to manifest even though her gem is completely fine. Pearl still thinks White is to blame for this, but Volleyball once again says it was Pink. Volleyball explains that one time Pink got tired of always asking Yellow and Blue for a colony, so she went straight to White instead. White, of course, rejected the idea, which caused Pink to have a tantrum. Apparently, her tantrums were so bad that at points her screams would cause objects to crack, i.e. Volleyball's eye. So it's like how singers can make their voices go really high and crack glass, but multiply that times a, a thousand, maybe ten thousand. <laughs> Volleyball attempts to justify Pink's behavior at the time, saying she didn't mean to do it, she just happened to be standing in the area while Pink was freaking out. Pearl and Volleyball go back and forth for a bit about how Pink acted in the past, Pearl saying she never threw tantrums and she didn't have destructive powers, but she was just a healer, and only a healer. Volleyball saying Pink never kept any secrets while they were together, etc. This whole conversation between these two goes back to what I said about how Pink started to change in some ways worse and I guess in some better the longer she spent time on Earth. All this stuff with the volleyball and the tantrums happened before she got the Earth colony. Then after she got Earth, she started keeping secrets more and showing less emotion, which also ended up being a bad thing in some ways because it really fucked up Pearl and Garnet at times. Like when Pearl found out Lion's existence and when Garnet found out Rose and Pink were the same gem. You know, Bismuth and Spinel are victims of this too. You know, both of them were left in areas by Pink never to be found found by any other gem or living creature for thousands of years. And once they were eventually found out, they were pissed. This back and forth between Pearl and Volleyball sets Steven off, causing his pink amplified powers to activate again. Shell thinks the pearls are to blame for Steven's outburst, so it attempts to rejuvenate the two of them. As the rejuvenation process begins, Pearl apologizes to Volleyball for continuing to make excuses for pink, but Volleyball makes another excuse saying pink didn't mean to. She asks Pearl how she was able to stop hurting after all this time, and Pearl says, I didn't, and hugs Volleyball volleyball, then fuses with her. Can I, can I just say how deep that cut when Pearl said she never stopped hurting? And I, I'm, I'm, that pun with deep cut was not intentional. Future is only four episodes in and is already hitting me with moments heavier than an elephant. Having them fuse was perfect poetic justice. Both of these pearls dealt with Pink Diamond on very personal levels for thousands of years, but in completely different ways. Volleyball dealt with the loud, immature temper tantrum pink, you know, while Pearl dealt with the more common collected pink on the outside, but, you know, she kept her feelings and secrets so bottled away and hidden to the point where it was really unhealthy and she was still hurting the people around her. Although Spinel is another character that was super close to Pink on an emotional level that Pearl could have related with. I think Volleyball was an even better choice to have, you know, a fusion with due to them literally being the same gem type, therefore having a more of a relatable experience to one another. 
Still different in some ways with the specifics, but relatable nonetheless. Thanks to their Mega Pearl Fusion, both of them were able to get the full picture on how Pink Diamond was from start to finish. To quote Mega Pearl, one knew Pink was trying to change, but she couldn't understand why, while the other never expected her to change at all. The way this episode ended makes me think this was not only an episode to resolve slash conclude Volleyball's character, but Pearl's as well. Both of them finally know everything they needed to know about Pink Diamond, and now they always got each other's backs. It was just so beautifully done. The only thing that they didn't explain in this episode was why this Pearl was given to White Diamond in the first place, like why Pink Diamond gave her away. Maybe it was because of the crack? Maybe White realized because she's damaging her pearls that White needs to kind of protect this pearl in a way. Obviously, White's definition of protection is, you know, turning this pearl into a zombie, but, you know, I guess it's better than her getting permanently damaged. I think that just about does it for this video, though. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode. Do you also think that the pearls are done getting character arcs for the remainder of the series or not? To be honest, the only thing I can still think of for Pearl would be the Mystery Girl stuff, but other than that, she's, she's done. Like, when it comes to gem-related homeworld character development, I think there's absolutely nothing else that needs to be done with Pearl. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out, take care, bye-bye.